Coming up. I've been in Paris for the past few days and had a lot of interesting conversations with friends, Uber drivers and random French people in bars. When I got back to England, I went for an overdue haircut, as you can see, and my barber told me a story about the last time he was in Paris. Apparently, the story goes, he and his group of English buddies kept getting turned away from restaurants and told they were fully booked, even though they looked empty. My barber told me that while leaving one restaurant, one of the group heard a waiter say to another waiter, I'll never forgive the English for Brexit. Why two French waiters were conversing in English in this story, I'm not really sure, but my barber chooses to think that the French are angry and revengeful over Brexit. But that's not at all what I'm hearing whenever I'm in France. The reactions I get range from complete indifference to Brexit through to slight feelings of sadness and pity at the UK's self-imposed economic and social harm. In Italy, apparently the sadness over Brexit is even more marked, and in this video I'll be looking at an article in Italian newspaper La Repubblica this week about the latest impact of Brexit. Stay tuned. It's not just with Europe that Brexit has caused the division. Nepo baby Rachel Johnson appeared on a Norwegian talk show this week. She was asked by presenter Frederick Scavan about the rumours suggesting that the subject of Brexit has divided the Johnson family. Here's what she had to say. You see, it has divided the family, but mainly into members who think that Brexit is a sh idea and those who think it's a really sh idea. <laughs> And while you take that nugget of information in and wonder which side of the family argument Boris Johnson was really on, now's a good time to like, subscribe and share this video. And it looks like Italians dreaming of coming to work in London would agree with Rachel Johnson. Leading Italian daily newspaper La Repubblica carried an article entitled Goodbye London after Home Secretary James Cleverley last year announced an increase in the minimum salary threshold for a skilled work visa from £26,000 to £38,700 per annum. According to the article, it's the end of a chapter in the Italian involvement in London, which they say dates back to the founding of London in AD 43 by the Romans and the 14th century presence of bankers from Lombardy in what is now still known as Lombard Street in the city of London. La Repubblica reports that the new salary threshold is stopping thousands of young Italians from moving to London to fill those empty jobs. In the UK, there's currently 120,000 unfilled roles in the hospitality sector alone, and it looks like, thanks to this move by Sunak's government, the situation is about to get a hell of a lot worse. Right now, 15% of jobs in the hospitality sector are filled by foreign workers, and research suggests that more than 90% of them earn less than the new £38,700 threshold. Great news for the government when trying to boast about lowering immigration figures, but in the real world, that's a big blow to one of the UK's most important industrial sectors, already suffering from chronic labour shortages. And it's not just Italian waiters and restaurateurs who are excluded under the new punitive post-Brexit salary thresholds. The Times this week also reported on an article from another Italian daily newspaper Il Messaggiero, which interviewed 32-year-old Alessandro Salinas. She's an Italian who took a master's degree in marketing in Britain, but who now can't find a position with a starting salary of £38,700. She told Il Messaggiero, I'm crying when I think about it. That master's cost me £22,000. I invested a lot in this country and now it's throwing me out. There are roughly 500,000 Italians who currently call London home, which makes it Italy's seventh largest city by population, just ahead of Bologna. But it looks like that figure will now start to reduce rapidly as post-Brexit rules are tightened to reduce the government's immigration figures. Even before the new minimum salary hike, the need to find a company willing to pay the administrative costs of obtaining a work visa put many Italians and other EU nationals off the idea of coming to the UK to fill one of the numerous unskilled vacancies that is killing the UK hospitality sector. The real victims of the new salary rule are not just young Italians and other EU nationals, but the London restaurants struggling to stay open without enough staff. 
The London Economic have also reported on this issue this week, quoting Kate Nichols, chief executive of UK Hospitality, as saying that the hospitality sector has had labour shortages of between 8 and 12% ever since coming out of Covid. She added, the successive tightening of the skilled worker visa means that the route from Europe to fill those skilled jobs have all but been eliminated. The dogma of Brexit, combined with the right-wing obsession that immigration is always a bad thing, is delivering yet one more blow, not just to the economy, but also to the rich and diverse culture of post-Brexit Britain as the Tory government pushes us back towards 1950s-style austerity, insularity and blandness. But this time round, with an ageing population whose needs are impossible to meet without the use of fresh, dynamic overseas talent migrating to the UK.